Analyzing your unstructured data, such as images and freeform text, has long had to take place outside of your data warehouse and requiring complex machine learning expertise in order to draw out insights. However, BigQuery and Vertex AI are changing that. In this video, we'll show you how you can use pre-trained machine learning capabilities of Vertex AI directly within BigQuery using its inference engine. You'll see a demo of how you can analyze and enhance unstructured data all with the familiarity of SQL. Before we jump into a demo, let's walk through an overview of the capabilities built into BigQuery that enable you to analyze unstructured data in this way. Firstly, BigQuery is Google Cloud's data warehouse that allows you to not only store and analyze structured data, but also unstructured data like freeform text and even images via object tables that extend out to data in Google Cloud storage. BigQuery is highly scalable, so no matter how much data you have, BigQuery can store it and help you analyze it. Now, when it comes to extracting meaning and gaining insights from your unstructured data, it's common to use machine learning models to analyze this kind of data. Vertex AI offers several pre-trained machine learning models targeting various use cases. The three we will be highlighting for analyzing unstructured data in BigQuery are the Vision API for tasks such as object detection, OCR, and labeling in images. The Natural Language API for extracting entities, classification, or performing sentiment analysis on freeform text. And the Translation API for language detection and translation of freeform text for over 100 languages. What ties the two together is BigQuery ML, and more specifically, BigQuery ML's inference engine, which allows you to connect and run predictions against Vertex AI's pre-trained ML models. When called by the inference engine, the pre-trained models return JSON responses that can be stored and analyzed at scale in BigQuery. OK, let's head over to the demo and analyze some unstructured data. I'm starting here in my Colab notebook, a hosted Jupyter notebook that can connect to my GCP project and run commands, code, and queries. It's linked in the description so you can make a copy and follow along. We have a set of classic movie poster images that we'd like to analyze, first by detecting and translating text present on the posters, and then running sentiment analysis on reviews for those movies. The first part of the notebook runs you through several steps for configuring the notebook environment, such as importing libraries and setting up variables, as well as setting up your GCP project, including authenticating, choosing your project, enabling APIs, and more you can read about in the notebook. The next thing you'll do is create a BigQuery dataset and populate an object table. The object table provides a structured record interface for the movie poster images that we have stored in Google Cloud Storage. Once created, it contains metadata such as the URIs, content type, and size of the posters. A quick note, as I mentioned before, you'll also be analyzing freeform text of associated movie reviews on IMDb. This dataset is actually available publicly in BigQuery, and this type of unstructured data is stored entirely in a BigQuery table and doesn't require an object table. All right, now that we have our data, let's start performing OCR on the movie poster images to pull out the text. First, you need to create the Vision AI remote model which essentially enables the ml.annotate image function, a connection to the Vision API from BigQuery. This model setup is one time, and then you can continue to use it in your project. Now, you'll use that function in a SQL statement to run the text detection feature over the entire object table of images, and return the JSON formatted results of the ML API alongside the other columns of the table. Querying that table, you can see the results that were provided by the Vision API for each poster. Now the movie titles are in several languages, and so next you'll translate the text to English so that you can join them with the English language IMDb reviews. For this, you'll create the remote model for the translation API, which allows you to use ml.translate to both detect the language of the results from the OCR step and then translate it to English. Here's a sampling of the results where the original language was detected as French and then translated to English. Finally, you'll create the remote model for the natural language API and then use the ml.understand text feature to run sentiment analysis of reviews from the IMDb public dataset in BigQuery. 
Your first query will run sentiment analysis on the reviews for one of the titles from the results of the previous steps, The Lost World, which was released in 1925. The response from the NLP API provides a sentiment score from clearly negative to clearly positive and neutral in between. In the final query, you'll use sentiment analysis to compare the IMDb reviews for other movies released in 1925 against reviews for The Last World. Analyzing the average sentiment scores, you can see that Sally of the Sawdust eked out in first place. Using the Vertex AI pre-trained ML models via BQML's inference engine is really a game changer for drawing insights from unstructured data at scale without complex code or needing ML expertise or ever leaving your data warehouse. Try it for yourself, access the CoLab notebook, and check out the documentation. Both are linked in the description below.